Ms. Brandon, do you have an update for me on this automation project? Uh, yes, sir. I was, I was just shelving some books here, but I can go ahead and fill you in. I briefed the additional committee members on the needs assessment that I had prepared, and we prioritized the library's needs. Our committee met with representatives from six different software companies. I created a table in which to compare the features of the different packages. We were able to narrow our choices down to three. They are Follett Software, Sagebrush, and Cersei Dynex. We reviewed each company's financial statements, and I can provide you a copy of those financial statements. I stay in touch with several other librarians from the Sam Houston uh, Department of Library Science through their listserv. So I was able to talk to several different librarians who are currently using each of these packages. I developed an RFP, that's a request for a proposal, using the samples in my college textbook as a guide. The RFPs will enable our committee to compare and evaluate the systems. It may take four to six weeks for the vendors to respond to the RFPs. In the meantime, regardless of which company we choose, we will need to acquire additional computers for the library. I consulted with our technology coordinator and we decided that we should create a local area network or a LAN. A LAN is uh, where the computers are able to share the software and hardware peripherals. Our card catalog will no longer be in these drawers. It will be available on the computers. It's called an OPAC and that stands for Online Public Access Catalog. We can even make our OPAC available on the web. We'll need two or three additional computers for the students and teachers to use as lookup stations. And we'll also need an additional computer and some additional items for the circulation desk. Sounds good to me. Can you get back with me after you've heard from these vendors? Yes. Hello, Ms. Brown. Good afternoon, Mr. Teller. After going through the responses to the RFPs, our automation committee has picked a software company. We decided that the Fallout Software Company's package best suits our needs. Uh, we still have some decisions to make, though. We're going to try to do most of the implementation during the summer break. The first step will be a retrospective conversion, or recon. During recon, we'll use the shelf list to convert the information from the card catalog format into a computer readable format called Mark 21. To prepare for the recon, we need to weed our entire collection using the criteria outlined in our school's collection development policy. If we go ahead and remove items through weeding in accordance to the policy, uh, we will remove books uh, that are worn, old, and no longer are being checked out, and we'll remove those. We'll also remove the shelf list cards for these items that are not needed in our collection any longer. This will reduce the number of items that have to be converted into the MARC format and thereby reduce the cost of recon. Next, we'll do a thorough inventory to make sure that there are shelf list cards for each item to be converted and to remove shelf list cards for missing or lost items. I'll need to clean up the shelf list because if this information will form the database on which the automation system is based. Well, it looks like you and Ms. Taylor are going to spend the summer up here converting over to the Follett system. Well, some libraries do the entire conversion in-house, but I performed a cost analysis comparing vendor and in-house conversion, and I found it would be more efficient and cost-effective for us to prepare the shelf list for conversion, but have Follett actually convert the shelf list. There are several components of the Mark 21 record, and I learned about them in one of my library science classes, but that was a long time ago. Follett has experienced full-time operators to work on the project without interruptions. So they would be able to create the database more quickly without the interruptions, and it would be more accurate than I could ever do. And that way I could continue with my other activities here. Once Follett has completed the conversion of our shelf list to a database of marked records, a barcode must be placed on each item. What is this barcode? Well, each item in our collection will have a unique barcode that allows it to be checked in and out using a barcode scanner. Just like in Walmart. Exactly. I've developed specifications for the barcodes, and uh, you can review those if you'd like. I've 
determined that it would be more cost effective for us to purchase the barcodes than to generate our own. Ms. Heller and I will physically place the barcodes on each item. If recon goes as planned, we should be able to start the barcode in the last week of school. The timing is good because we need to close the library while we're barcoding to minimize errors. And once the conversion is completed and the new computers are set up, the automation software can be installed and then tested. Hopefully we can iron out any problems during the summer. Ms. Taylor and I will receive our training directly from the Follett Software Company. And then once school starts, I can train the students and the other staff in using the OPAC. Fantastic. I feel like our <coughs> program is in good hands. Well, thank you. I appreciate your confidence. Bye. Joke.